I'm 90% sure the main reason I'm here is because I have a song called 22. Yeah, Taylor Swift definitely belongs with this calendar year. Now, if this was a movie, it would show you how Taylor got ready for the big day. Oh, look at that. I forgot that that TikTok video existed. That crowd needs to calm down. The Grammy winner got a huge ovation when she came out of the woods and appeared on the Jumbotron inside Yankee Stadium. She didn't use a getaway car, but simply walked around the field, which some would call holy ground, as she arrived to receive her honorary doctorate from NYU. I'll let them tell you the prestigious title. The degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. This was the moment I knew we should refer to her as Dr. Taylor Swift now. I'd like to thank NYU for making me, technically, on paper at least, a doctor. Granted, she has been the medicine for broken hearts and those in despair for quite a while now, and she dropped one of her enchanted prescriptions in the speech. Let me say to you now, Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Since everything has changed, she immediately put her doctorate to work and gave the graduating students a remedy to deal with stressful situations in the workplace. Breathe deep. Breathe out. And I am a doctor now, so I know how breathing works. <laughs> Don't blame her. But Taylor did admit that she can't totally relate to the students because she didn't get to go to university because she launched her music career at 15, but she did use the music video for one of her biggest hits to play out her wildest dreams about the college experience. I even set the ending of my music video for my song Love Story at my fantasy imaginary college where I meet a male model reading a book on the grass. And with one single glance, we realized we had been in love in our past lives. Which is exactly what you guys all experienced at some point in the last four years, right? Taylor's ability to laugh at herself is something that she's become an expert in. Learn to live alongside cringe. For the entirety of 2012, I dressed like a 1950s house housewife. But you know what? I was having fun. Trends and phases are fun. Looking back and laughing is fun. Just Shake It Off was one of Taylor's key pieces of advice for these students because she has learned it all too well. Having the world treat my love life like a spectator sport in which I lose every single game was not a great way to date in my teens and 20s. And she might have to thank Kim and Kanye if she launches her own wine line. Getting canceled on the internet and nearly losing my career gave me an excellent knowledge of all the types of wine. <laughs> all jokes aside, Taylor knows she hasn't been perfect, but it has resulted in a beautiful endgame. My experience has been that my mistakes led to the best things in my life. And that includes massive worldwide success. And when Jason King pointed that out in his introduction to Taylor. You have brought joy and resolve to your hundreds of millions of fans throughout the world. I think Taylor got a little choked up. You have crossed genres, demographics, age groups, and borders of all kinds to touch lives around the globe. Look what you made her do, Jason. You know she's delicate. Why you gotta be so mean and get her all verklempt like that? So Dr. Taylor Swift really did achieve a state of grace in her commencement speech, and she did get in one more song reference. Are you ready for it? We're doing this together. So let's just keep dancing like we're the class of 22. And then she gave the crowd a last kiss. I had to get it in there. What did you think of Taylor's commencement speech? 